All right, hey guys, sorry I haven't been posting as much. My camera broke, I think I said that before, but my camera broke on the mountain, rolled down, and the lens thing doesn't open. So I'm using my phone, and we came up today to do a little uh, video of setting up trail camera for migrating deer, moose, and whatnot, and I knew this was gonna be a good spot for moose, kind of a hidden spot no one would think about. So I came up, I came with Melissa. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't really want to be in the frame. Show yourself. You're <laughs> she came up with me to help, and uh, I knew there was going to be moose sheds, like I was saying, and I hiked up, left her down a little lower, and found one, pretty cool one. So we came up, and she's already kind of dragging, so I uh, played a trick on her and said, I think we might have to look a couple hours for the other side. And... Uh, walking up onto the first one I looked over and we walked right onto the second one <laughs> what'd you think when I first said it might be a couple hours I was gonna kill you <laughs> <laughs> looks like uh, probably from this past year so almost a whole year old uh, cool little one not giant and then the other one's just up here above it We're going to uh, get some pics of it, go get some pics of the other one, then we'll pick them up. In some uh, pretty crazy, steep, nasty country. Anyways, I'm going to give Melissa, whoa, if I don't fall and die, the honors of picking up the first moose shed ever. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, that is from, I think, this past year. Pretty cool, huh? Nice, the other one is right up there and it's kind of unique and funky. We'll go get it now. And here we are with the other side. I was coming up to go look in this meadow for a trail cam spot and looked over and saw this, this guy, not huge, but kind of funky, almost grows like a deer or something. I think it's a match, they don't, it's a left side and we needed a left side, so we'll see. Go ahead, you can pick this one up too. <laughs> you know how they go? Yeah. Oh, this hill is steep. Hold it up. You think? What do you guys think? Match, it's got the same, let's turn it the other way and hold it, yeah. It's got the same brow tine, then its second point grows out almost in the same spot. He just grew funky on this side. Pretty cool. <laughs> and the other side was right there, so I'm assuming that's a match. Melissa didn't find them, I found them, but she was with me, so her first moose sheds will count them as. Pretty cool. Moose sheds are my favorite. I. Uh, I love moose sheds more than anything, but okay, we'll go put the, get some pictures of these and set up our stealth cam. Okay. All right, we are digging it out now. I couldn't really find a good spot to put a camera. Honestly, there was one trail uh, a little further down, but it looks like it might get hikers on it and I don't want to risk somebody seeing it and pr be pretty easy to run back and go get your uh, something to break into the camera box with so I moved it up up here there's some trails that kind of come down out of some high stuff some of it goes down so they might miss it there but then I saw uh, I picked up these sheds right here and then we also saw where a buck had made a scrape last year in here so some of these trails come down then there's a meadow on this side that it looks like they really hit so I just tried to get the best looking spot where it looks like they funneled down and I'm gonna dig out a hole for the salt block and then put the camera on that tree um, it might not be the best spot but at least for now it'll be all right and if I find a better spot I can put it but should get something that migrates down Listen, best thing you could have is a pick because this ground is super steep as you can see and rocky there would be like no way to put the salt block there uh, a lot of the times the animals kick at it and if you don't have it dug out they'll uh, the rock will roll down the ridge so always got to dig out a good sized spot put it there and then I'll, I'll always dig a little trail too just to 
reinforce them wanting to go to it. So. All right, fam. So, uh, <laughs> don't laugh. Just trying to be hip. So, uh, we're putting this lock box on, right? And I'm using old screws. Apparently, you don't want to use old screws because I've had two of them break. The screws break already. So we're on our last one. If we can't get this one in, the camera doesn't go up today because I don't have a strap for the camera. I only have the screws for a lock box. So if this one breaks in the next few little turns, then uh, we abort mission and I'll have to come back another time and put up a camera. Might be a sign though that this isn't going to be a good spot, so we'll see. What happened? <laughs> I, I squeaked. Yep. <laughs> it broke again, guys. My fingers are dirty, don't mind them. We hold this while I break it off. Oh, never mind. Buff girl. It broke, so we're screwed. No camera today. There's where it would have been. There's the poor little lad right there. Doesn't get to go up. That's really depressing actually, so I gotta buy new screws and bring straps next time. I've had two unsuccessful trail camera uh, attempts the last two times. The last time I went up, I took this camera and hauled my trophy rock all the way up, got it to the top, and I didn't have the key for the lock box and the camera was locked in it, so I gotta clean it up. Gotta clean the act up, but uh, <laughs> we. <laughs> I'm getting made fun of, but I found two moose sheds, so it was a great day. Learned of some new country. I'm going to take another way out, and maybe it's going to take me to a better spot for a camera. That's how you got to look at it. And then uh, just come up when I get a chance and put it out. So, thanks for watching, guys. Melissa's first moose shed, too. Hit her up on YouTube. She's just kidding. She doesn't have a YouTube. But, uh, <laughs> all right. We're out. All right guys, we are going to take it as a sign that those bolts weren't working because uh, we just hit kind of, I mean it's not even really a human trail, but this is what most of the people walk on and our trail just came up right through here. So I'm thinking, and it's a dang good trail, like it looks just like any old hiking trail, but it was just deer tracks on it. I'm thinking it's going to be a good deer migration trail camera low uh, spot so we're gonna take that as a sign that it was saying don't put it up there and I'm gonna come back with the right equipment and put my camera up there so cool little new area to learn and uh, learning experience today almost to the car now and uh, hopefully we're back out again and I can get my camera fixed to uh, get some more videos made thanks for watching though